Hey, welcome to the 40 Finance channel, everybody. My name's Jeff Beers. Today, we're gonna do a review of the Tip Ranks platform. If you guys have been watching my channel for a while, you know that I use Tip Ranks in almost all my videos to give a little snapshot on what analysts think about a particular stock and where they see the price going over the next year or so. And while the analyst ratings are by far my favorite feature of Tip Ranks, they have a lot of other uh, features that come in handy when you're doing stock research. Uh, so I'll kind of pull the screen back here a little bit and let you see what goes on inside of Tip Ranks. And if you're interested in learning more about Tip Ranks, my affiliate link is in the description. I do receive a small commission for anyone who signs up using that link. However, I only talk about Tip Ranks because it is a product that I use basically every day. Uh, so as we go through this review, if it seems like something you might use uh, in your investing journey, then please support the channel by using the affiliate link below. Okay, so this is the homepage of Tip Ranks. This is where everything begins. And you can see sort of their primary selling points is stock analysis, analyzing your portfolio, and of course, getting investment ideas. We'll go through all three of these points as we're sort of uh, walking around in here. And let's just jump into my favorite feature, which you can do by entering almost any ticker symbol. We'll do Etsy today since I've talked about it a lot recently on my channel. And you jump right into this landing page, which gives you sort of a look at Etsy from an analyst perspective. So this is something that I use all the time and double check on every stock that I mentioned on the channel, as well as any stock that I invest in. And you've got two kind of options here. Um, you can go for the all consensus, which appears here in this box, or you can do the best performing analyst consensus. And the difference between the two, which we'll see in a little bit, has to do with their star rating. So Tip Ranks assigns a one to five star rating for every analyst on the site, and that is based on their performance. So they track when analysts come out with buy, sell, hold ratings, uh, and then they track it from there and assign a one through five rating. Now this is the price target consensus and analyst rating consensus. I tend to go by date, which we'll scroll down and see that, but at the high level, you just can type in a stock and go with the consensus. And that gives you some idea. You see here with Etsy, um, the price is always, just, the real price is displayed up here at 137.30. Uh, the consensus target is 156 over the next year. And that's a 14% upside. Off to the left here, you can just look at buy, sell, holds. Uh, based on the best performing analyst. Now, if you've watched my channel, you know that typically I spend more time down here, which is the detailed list of analyst forecasts. And this is cool because you can actually break it down. I always do four and five star analysts because I just want the best opinion, um, but you can add more. I don't know if it will impact anything on Etsy side. It doesn't look like it. But when you get into smaller cap stocks, uh, one of the things you have to be careful of is that they're smaller, right? So they're not covered as much and you'll get a lot of one and two star analysts covering smaller ones, uh, probably because they're trying to make a name for themselves. But you can also sort by buy, sell, hold. Uh, so did I see there was one sell? Uh, yes, there is one sell and you can see the date was one month ago. And obviously this gentleman is uh, very bearish on Etsy as he's saying down minus 46%. But let's see what happens if we look at things on a, a more wider ranging view. Okay, so this is the chart that you often see on my channel. And what I like about this one is you can sort in almost any way. I tend to sort by date because I want the freshest uh, ratings to come out on top, right? And it's very easy for me to look across and, and um, absorb the information, if you will. And we see, at least for uh, Etsy, the freshest rating was today. Um, most of them came out one month ago. That sort of coincides with Etsy's earnings release. You know, a lot of analysts review earnings and they make a fresh assessment on the stock. 
That appears to be what is happening here. And what you can do within your own user profile, if you want to, you can follow these analysts uh, simply by pushing you know, the add button and then um, it'll actually go into your My Experts area, which we'll take a look at in a little bit. But in addition to telling you what these analysts said, you also get to look at the article uh, where they're pulling the source from. So this one's from the fly. And the fly just does a little uh, snippets on what people are talking about. They just give you a little snippet of what was being said, whether it was from a uh, virtual investor meeting or sometimes there's shareholder letters and other things that come out uh, where they pull this information from. But very easy to look at, very easy to sort, and very easy to go back in time to see how things have changed. Okay, so that's the analyst ratings for, for Etsy, but there's other tip ranks features we can use to analyze Etsy as well. If we go to stock analysis, you actually get the tip ranks smart score, uh, how they look at Etsy. It's a combination of activity, growth, um, sentiment, all those things. And you can see this sort of stock analysis overview. They go for analyst ratings, blogger opinions, hedge fund activity, insider activity, fundamentals, technicals, news, and tip ranks investors. But perhaps the most intriguing part of this tab is that you start to get into hedge fund activity and insider activity. So if we wanted to just focus on those things, we could go to hedge fund activity and you can see that they have a chart that shows stock price against hedge fund activity. And they go through and list uh, the different additions and changes. And all these additions and changes came in this past quarter. So this is not an infinite list. This is just in the past quarter. And you can see what the holding changes and value reported were uh, across the board. So in this case, I believe uh, we've got a neutral hedge fund confidence signal based on seven hedge funds in the recent quarter. However, if you go through, you can see the star rating of the hedge funds and at the top here, the one that was added the most to it was the Gotham Asset Group, who added 5.6 million. However, uh, a couple sales, most notably this one from Bridger Management Group at 22.59 million. So a little bit more outflows than inflows. However, as you can see off to the side, there's a difference between sold out, reduced, added and new. So those are all things to kind of keep in mind when you're looking at hedge fund activity. Now you might remember on that previous page, you could also look at insider activity. And this tracks insider trading activity within the last three months. And they're saying for Etsy, it's coming in negative because you've had more people selling than buying. And if you go through here and you sort by the date, you can see there is a decent chunk of activity uh, going on in the past couple months here. It looks like most of them were sales. So some people would regard that as a negative. Um, Etsy though, if you don't know, has really uh, jumped this year. So to me, it's not super surprising that some of these folks in these uh, you know, big positions have opted to go ahead and cash in on the success for the year. But in this case, uh, you may want to dig in more and just make sure uh, that you're comfortable with what's going on. And the nice thing is you can go over and you get the SEC listing, I believe right here, where it tells you who sold it, the relationship, uh, and you can kind of look through and see how much things were worth and what they sold them for. Just keep in mind though that, you know, people sell stocks for a lot of different reasons. This would definitely be probably a negative sentiment. So I agree with tip ranks. However, in the back of my mind, I also say that Etsy's had a hell of a year 
And if I was sitting uh, myself on $6 million worth of Etsy stock after the year that we've had, uh, I would probably you know, think about selling some of it myself. You also are not sure if these people got this stock through a bonus program of some kind. So uh, depending on what their salary is, this could be the lion's share of their salary. And so they're really just cashing out uh, to have money in the bank, so to speak. Either way, if you're an owner of a stock, it's nice to have this to see exactly what's going on. Now, if we go to the news section, um, you get a lot of strong positives. And basically they use word clouds and they use you know, a difference between bullish and bearish news. Um, and then they give you some links uh, to what people are talking about. Then of course you can actually click on the article. So I know Market Watch, I go there all the time. So this one I could consider a trusted source. Uh, it doesn't look like they talk about Etsy you know, specifically, they just include it in a list. They're saying, here's your closing price. The consensus price target is 160, upside potential of 26%. Bottom line, if you are an Etsy stockholder, it's nice to get these news uh, links that you can reference. And in the case of Etsy, I mean, you can just go on and on. Super helpful for me on this channel as I'm doing research about different stocks so I can bring you guys uh, tidbits of information and you can also sort uh, bearish news that looks like not much. Uh, there was one 21 days ago. Anyhow, so this news column is obviously a helpful signal when you're researching stocks. Okay, so the next part in tip ranks we're gonna look at is the uh, top experts, right? And we'll do the top 25 Wall Street analysts. And you see how they've broken these guys up. You can actually sort. Um, I'm big on consumer goods, so I'll try that one measure the performance uh, over the past year, that's fine. Compare to, let's compare to S&P 500. And here we sort of settle on our top performers based on a percentage of average return. You also have success rate, including how many uh, ratings they've issued, how many have sort of been successful. Uh, just for fun, I will click on this person, Andy Hargraves, I do not know. Uh, him at all, but let's just see what he has. And you get to see his stock coverage, including the full chart of when he initiated some coverage, right? So if he said buy, uh, they marked it and they marked the article, the hold and the article. Um, so you can actually dig in and find out perhaps why he said that. This one back in April, investors punish Alphabet stock after concerning quarter. And of course you can check out the other stocks uh, that Andy has, uh, Netflix. Here's another one. Looks like he's done a lot of coverage on Netflix. So what's cool about this um, is you can get a pretty good feel uh, for how much somebody knows something about a stock, right? Looks like he's been on Netflix since 2012. Pretty good track record of buying when it goes up, holding when it goes down, and you could go into more research on that. So these top uh, expert areas, they are really valuable and you can sort them however you want. And I think it's super helpful to focus on sectors that you might be interested in. Healthcare is certainly one uh, that I don't know a whole lot about. So I would definitely want to be following somebody who has a strong healthcare stock experience, uh, perhaps this woman right here. But there's other ways to look at experts. You can go to financial bloggers and interesting on financial bloggers, you've got a um, guy from Investor Place, Luke Lango. I just uh, had him in a video when I was talking about Neo stock. Um, then you have the Seeking Alpha long-term tips. So it's actually interesting because you could come into here for Seeking Alpha and kind of tell like how people have been performing if you did decide to sign up for some of their Seeking Alpha subscriptions. I guess that'd be one way to measure their success rate from an independent party. All right, and so you get the picture here. There's multiple lists, including top performing research firms, individual investors, 
I'm eventually going to make a uh, individual investor profile on here. I just haven't spent the time to do it yet because I want to make sure I understand all the rules about, you know, posting buys and sells and um, can I backdate any of the work that I've done? I'm not sure. Uh, but once I get it together, I will probably, you know, experiment with this feature and put uh, my name on there. Okay, so the last thing I want to show you, there's a lot of different ways to sort by stocks on tip ranks, but the one um, that I use the most is actually the stock screener. Some of these uh, top stocks, they really use the same screener technology. They're just kind of automatically sorted for you. But I do like to come in for video ideas and video research and just start with a blank canvas here. And you can see, you know, how many options you have. Uh, just for fun, we're going to start with, you know, names that we've definitely heard of, right? Which is, uh, we'll include medium in there too. I want to see market cap larger stocks. I want to see stocks that have an upside of let's call it 10 to over 20%. And I want to see strong or moderate buy signals. Actually, I don't wanna do that. I want to go to um, best uh, analyst consensus, right? Because I don't want all the analysts. I just want the best ones. So strong buy, moderate buy. I'm actually gonna cancel this price target upside because it's sort of the same problem. It just takes in any analyst. So we're going to cancel that and we're going to do the best analysts uh, with these upside uh, and I'll include 5% all the way up to the top. And then on the sector, let's see what happens in the technology space, even though that is kind of overbought right now. And it spits out a bunch of returns, lots of familiar names. This is sorted by market cap. So everything is uh, sort of top heavy in the names we all know. Um, let me scroll down. Uh, how about Zoom? Uh, because Zoom's an interesting one. People are, are wondering, you know, will Zoom uh, fall now that the pandemic is potentially nearing an end? And we go through here, we sort by date. We got best performing analysts. You've got a hold two days ago at 450, and you still have a buy at 550, 14 days ago at plus 27%. So even though the vaccine you know, news came out a couple weeks ago, you still got a couple uh, new analysts coming in saying, hey, it's not gonna tank. So that's just a quick way to look at Zoom, and then we go back to our sheet and we can pick up the next one. Uh, lots of different ways to do it. And I think the biggest key is being able to sort by sector, at least for me, because I don't get into healthcare. I do very little with financial. So oftentimes I'm doing consumer goods, services, technology, and uh, just leaving it at that. You can sort by market cap or we can sort by best upside, which gives you your you know, highest upside target. And then I'm gonna go down here and sort my screen over so we can see everything. Sorry about that. Uh, now let's take a look at Adidas and you've got moderate buy. The price upside target is 319. Quick look at Adidas here. And again, you're a click away from going back to the search results and doing it all over again. So you can see how this not only saves you time, but is a great way to come up uh, for new ideas to invest in. All right, guys, so those are the primary features of tip ranks that I use uh, almost every day, to be honest with you, whether I'm looking for a new investment opportunity or I'm keeping track of the stocks that I hold to see what analysts say when they come out, also hedge fund and insider activity, one of the things that I didn't show you because we're kind of going long right now is you can type in your own portfolios. So you can put in all of your ticker symbols, I believe up to a hundred in a single portfolio. And then it does smart score ratings and stuff for you. And then you'll automatically get alerts if you want to on what those stocks are doing. 
And that's pretty helpful to keep all your favorite stocks in one place. One quick call out, because I, I know you guys are going to ask, which package do I have? I have the Ultimate at $49.95 a month. I would bet that most investors will be plenty happy with premium. Uh, the only reason I have Ultimate is because you actually get to build uh, multiple portfolios. Each portfolio holds 100 tickers. And in my case, I have um, a couple different groups that I like to set up, so that's been helpful for me. But in terms of like features and access, Premium and Ultimate are pretty close to each other. Uh, you might miss some like export functionality or something like that. Uh, but for the most part, you are in the same playing area as Ultimate. You just have uh, slightly larger capabilities with Ultimate if you like to manage multiple portfolios. All right, hope you guys enjoyed this tip ranks review. Reminder, if you want to support the channel, please use my affiliate link below to sign up. I really appreciate your support. And don't forget, if you like stock market analysis and personal finance videos, please like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you to everyone. We will see you on the next video.